Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial, the first of 2019. Hope you had a good new year. And today we're going to be looking at the Morph Mining plugin. So, this is a really fantastic plugin which makes mining in vanilla Minecraft more exciting. So, it adds a few new items which you can see here. It adds a really cool GUI which has loads of different features and it's still pretty new so there are loads more features that are going to be released uh, at some point. So first of all we're going to have a look at the GUI. If we do forward slash mine and then hit enter it will show you all of the commands. A lot of these can be accessed via the GUI uh, so let's have a look at that now by doing forward slash mine and then menu. Hit enter and the GUI will pop up. It looks really nice. I love the way it's designed and up at the top you can see the name mining station and then if we go to the icon up at the top the mining master this will allow us to grind ores in order to, to get gems. So if we go into the ore grinder over here, it will allow us to pop in all of the different ores you can see in the bottom right. If we pop colon and look at the piece of paper on the top, it says there's a 5% chance of us getting gems from these coal ore. Then down at the bottom, it gives you information in the book. So you drop loot in and then you close the GUI and it will give us the gems. So let's go ahead and do that. If we click the red redstone back button, we will get all of the different coal. And how many gems do we get? We got two out of 32. So that's not great. Although if we put in diamond or emeralds, we have a much higher chance of getting gems. Now if we go back into it, you can see some upcoming features that the developer has planned, uh, which will be really cool when they come out. And obviously down here in the book again, it shows you information about the page. Then if we go into stats, which has my face, it will show you how many gems you have, it will show you the artifacts you have, how many different ores you've mined, as well as how much money you have made from selling the artifacts. And down at the bottom there's a book which tells you to hover over the stats. Then if we go back and into the miners market, this will allow us to spend the gems. So there's two main uh, reasons you want to get gems. One, to spend them in the miners market, which is coming soon and two will be to expand your pouch which we'll look at later. So here in the artifact shop this is where you actually sell all your artifacts. So when you mine a, an item, an ore, you will have a slight chance of getting an artifact and depending on the quality it will sell for a little amount of money or a lot. So I just sold two mythic for 5,000, 2,500 each but if we were to sell a common one like this we will only get $50 for it. So depending on which ore you're mining, it will range from a common one to a mythic, rare or whatever. So if we do mine menu again, we can look at the last few features. So bottom left we have the spawners icon which is coming soon and the miners log bottom right. So in the miners log we can have a look at all of the different artifacts types. So depending on which ore you're mining, you can get a high tier or a low tier. So if you mine diamond or emerald, you'll get a mythic. Or if you mine nether quartz, you'll get a hellstone. So if we go back and to the bottom, we can have a look at the three different recipes. So the first one is the data log recipe. And then we have the pouch and the trash can. So in the data log recipe, we can use it to literally open the GUI. It doesn't really do too much. The pouch, which allows you to store artifacts and the trash can, surprise, surprise, allows you to delete items. So let's look more in depth at them over here. So this is the data log book crafted like so. If we grab this, and then right click, it will literally just open the GUI rather than typing in the command. You can give this to players when they first join the server via the config file, which we'll look at later. But the mining pouch, this is the most important one. If we grab this and right click, it allows us to store all of the different artifacts instead of dropping them on the ground if it's enabled. And you can also purchase um, an upgrade to allow you to store more in the space if you have gems and the correct amount of money. Obviously I don't have enough gems so I cannot purchase that, but we have a lot of capacity left. We only have one in the mythic slot and zero in the others, and there will be an auto sell feature coming soon as well, which is really awesome. So if we do four slash mine and then withdraw, followed by the tier, so mythic, and then obviously we only have one left, that will throw the mythic into the air and we can now sell it using the way we did previously. So let's quickly do that, go into the artifact shop, stick it in, and there's a quick $2,500 we've just made. And now we have 11,000, which is great. Although we still need all of those gems to be able to purchase an upgrade. Finally, we have the trash can, which 
it has two features. One is coming soon, so we can put any item in here and it will be deleted. However, the second feature, which will be coming soon, is automatically trash items on pickup. So if you didn't want something like, I don't know, coal or sand or whatever, you could set that item to be automatically deleted when you pick it up, which is very cool. So I can't wait for that update. And finally, if we do four slash mine stats and then a player's name, you can look at another player's stats. If you do four slash mine OG, you can go to the ore grinder without going through the GUI and then give it another test. We get four gems from those 64 gold ingots. And you can see that the gems actually replace the ingot. So we only got 60 instead of 64. And finally, you can actually reload the plugin and the config file. So we're gonna see how easy it is to get these artifacts. So if I make a really tall tower and dig down, we will see how many artifacts we get. So they're really, really rare. So we might have to do a couple of towers and I will speed this footage up because it'd be very, very boring me just digging down and building up again. And there we go. So we will get a couple from digging up and down using this method. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel in the morph mining folder. And as you can see, there are three files. So up at the top, we have the player data. This is where all of your players will store their data in YML files. If we have a quick look at my one, it shows all of my different stats here and whether the pouch is enabled or not. So you don't need to mess around with that unless you want to cheat yourself. And then in here, we can go into the messages.yml so this contains the different colors and prefixes that you will get when you use the commands. You could change these to anything you like, uh, but you don't really have to because it looks nice already. And finally, the config.yml, this has the most information in that you can change. Um, so up at the top, you can see the version, the spigot link and the uh, author's discord as well if you want to ask the developer for some help. Um, so down here, we have the main glass color, which is 11, and I think that's blue, possibly. And do you want to be given the data log book when people first join your server? Then we have all of the different prices the artifacts sell for. So as you know, we sold a couple of mythic ones and the common one for only 50. Uh, so you can change these to match your economy in the server. Then we have the ore grinder. So when we put the coal and different items in the ore grinder, there was a 5% chance of us getting gems from the coal. And obviously there is a zero to 100 chance of this um, and you can change it to whatever you want. So as you can see, emerald and diamond are the highest and you could make them even more if you wanted to. Down at the bottom here, we have all of the pouches. So this is how you upgrade the capacity of the pouches. Um, so it will cost $1,500 or pounds and 100 gems. Scroll down a bit more and then we have all of the artifacts with some cool names and descriptions. So you could leave this how it is. I think they're all pretty neat um, how they are, uh, but you could change them and rename them to match your RPG server or whatever. So that is everything in the config file. As you can see, it's really awesome. Um, it's such a unique plugin with loads of cool features and even more to come. So if you want to download it, make sure you go to the Spigot link in the description. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. And if you want to check me out, uh, you can look at all of the other plugin tutorials I've done on Serverminer. Um, there'll be a playlist in the description as well. So that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.